watching WMAR 2 News with Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Good morning, Maryland, and happy Friday. On this Friday, Elsa is gone from Maryland, uh, moving to the northeast at about 31 miles an hour, moving very quickly, just racing. Those winds sustained still at about 50 miles an hour, so we're still talking about a tropical storm. And this is what we're working with in terms of the satellite and radar drying out. We will get some clearing as the day goes on. That's not going to last long, though, because we will have the potential for some more showers and thunderstorms that could turn severe as we head more towards the afternoon, but that's going to be courtesy of that cold front. Elsa will be long gone by then, already working its way on up, up towards the north and east around New England as we continue through the rest of today. So we will monitor the severe weather as we go into the afternoon, and I'll talk more about that coming up in just a second. But I want to get you out the door this morning, and getting out the door this morning, you can leave the rain gear. You don't need that. You don't need the umbrella this morning. But again, if you are going to be out and about in the afternoon, you will need the umbrella in some spots because we're going to be considering isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. The temperatures are in the 70s. We're at 73 degrees right now in Annapolis and Easton. We're looking at 72 in Chesapeake Beach. And then we have some upper 60s. You see that around Manchester, Ellicott City, Frederick. That's where we're supposed to be now for this time of the year. So pretty seasonal there. The dew points, unfortunately, are still in the upper 60s and 70s. So that means that we are still dealing with an oppressive factor, an UG factor, a yuck factor, but that is going to change a little as we head towards your tomorrow as the humidity will start to go down, but then it goes right back up as we head into your Sunday and beyond. So here is the future cast picking up on some of those isolated and scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. So around two o'clock, three o'clock, they'll start to fire and move through the area and then we'll start to calm down once we lose uh, the daytime heating and once that cold front starts to really work its way through. Although that cold front's not going to move so much, it'll kind of stall out, uh, but it still looks like we're going to have a nicer day on your Saturday, a drier day on your Saturday with more sunshine in the forecast. And then the showers may return as we head into your Sunday. This is what we're working with. The severe weather outlook today, a marginal risk. So on a scale of one to five, we're looking at a one, the lowest risk, but we still do have a risk. Damaging wind will be the primary threat. All right. Whose little baby is this? Uh, this is my little baby blaze you guys send me your pictures of your little baby at charles at wmar.com it's going to be a good day for a dog walking forecast i need you to keep your eye to the sky though because again we will see those thunderstorms erupting as we go into the afternoon time frame again around three o'clock as we move through the rest of today again high temperatures are going to be i'd say a little bit above average because we should be right around 89 degrees now for this time of the year i'm going about 90 91 before it's all said and done today Here's that seven day forecast and the seven day forecast puts us in another heat wave as we head into next week. Not only will the heat come back, but the humidity is going to be back as well. So we are going to be hot, Megan Knight, once again, 